Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. With Modern Warfare 3 now here, you much like me are probably diving into gameplay for the first time, going through and unlocking new weapons, trying to go for some new camos, do all the usual stuff to start the year, right? And obviously, as we're all getting into gameplay here, we are looking to do as good as possible in any given match. You want to be on the top of the leaderboard, going for those higher kill streaks or score streaks, maybe dropping some nukes. And today, I wanted to help you out with some key gameplay tips to basically just help you improve right away some of these things are going to be very straightforward and things you can apply right away to basically instantly improving game others will take a bit more time to integrate into your gameplay fully all of them will help you become a much better player overall so as we get into it if you enjoy the video if you find it helpful at all do me a favor drop a like on it it would be really appreciated and if you're new here you want to guarantee that every single day you are up to date with all things going on in call of duty whether it's mw3 or warzone be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications but first things first is you are of course diving into gameplay you're gonna have gone through and built a loadout and with this this year you can really optimize your class setups by using the detailed stats feature essentially every time you go in to customize a weapon and throw on various different attachments when you're in that attachment menu you can press the you know respective button whatever it is on whatever platform you're playing and view the detailed stats screen and this is going to give you more information about this setup than we've really ever seen before in terms of what exactly is changing when you put on this attachment versus that attachment Let's say, for instance, you've got two compensators that both help out with horizontal control. You can easily see, okay, this one clearly offers double the control, but it has twice as bad of an ADS speed, you know, con to it, which is really nice to see instead of just those basic stat bars, which as we know forever have been completely inaccurate and basically useless. So using those detailed stats to help you build the most optimal loadout obviously is going to reflect in your gameplay because your gun's going to be more efficient in whatever situation you're trying to use it in. Also, when it comes comes to familiarizing yourself with weapons the firing range is back in modern warfare 3 and while it looks a bit different from mw2 it's every bit as useful you can go through with your selected builds say you're trying to figure out what optic you seem to be the most accurate with you can dive into the firing range real quick and shoot against those dummies and see okay clearly i'm liking the optic that has you know this reticle on it versus this one it's just more clear i feel like i'll be more accurate with this you can very easily test things there without having to go into game or go into a private match and do things a little bit more in depth the firing range is a great place to just quickly test things get a feel for recoil and see how you need to adjust things before you fully commit to a match so just another small thing that can optimize your gameplay a little bit now, obviously, a big change with Modern Warfare 3 is the return to decent movement with the slide canceling and the various mechanics now that have been introduced, the tack stance as well. And really, obviously, this is something that every player is going to want to do if you ultimately want to become better at COD you have to master this movement. And unlike some of the other tips, this is really something that you have to build up a muscle memory of in a sense. Master the slide canceling techniques, when to slide, when to cancel it, when you want to you know, be using the tack stance animation, maybe to slide around a corner and break a camera in a certain way. And this is something that's going to require repetitions, doing it over and over and over and over again, right? And a great way to do this, sort of two tips in one, a two for one here, uh, you can do this in private match if you're trying to you know warm up before you jump into all your matches for the day or if you're just trying to get a good feel without the risk of you know tanking your stats which who knows maybe might help you in some cases with sbmm right but you can do it there in an environment that has no pressure turn on some bots and practice going into gunfights with sliding as your intro movement or going around a corner using the slide cancel to your advantage and then getting those sights up or transitioning from tack stance into an ads or whatever the case may be trying to master this and make it as fluid as possible is going to allow you to obviously just break those cameras lose other players and cause them to miss shots when you can easily be running circles around them or sliding in circles around them and get those quick and easy kills uh this definitely will take you know weeks on end to fully integrate into your gameplay but if you can do it repeatedly it's gonna have a major improvement in the long run and will really help you out since now this year it's more about how you can outgun players in terms of an overall engagement rather than just straight up one-on-one -on -one gunfights it's not just the gun that's dependent on who wins and who loses because there's an actual movement skill gap 
Another thing you definitely want to pay more attention to this year is the mini map. This is going to be wildly important yet again for a handful of reasons. Various different vests in this game actually change how the mini map works. For instance, the CCT comms vest is going to give you a bit more information. It's going to zoom out your mini map. And obviously it's back to that classic mini map overall where red dots are appearing. So every time someone shoots an unsuppressed weapon, they're going to show up there. You can get vital information on that sort of read spawns a bit because of that as well. Okay. If I see, you know, three red dots all firing on this left side of the map chances are i'm either going to be spawning behind them or on the opposite side of them there of course there's those situations where the spawns are very wonky and busted and don't work as intended but for the most part reading that mini map seeing your teammates positions in accordance to you know maybe the objective or where those red dots might be showing up is going to give you a lot of info both in terms of enemy location but future spawns how you may want to rotate the mini map this year is more important than ever Next up, I want to briefly focus on audio. Audio in this game is definitely a bit better than in years past in terms of certain enemy sounds being a bit more audible overall, and it's even amplified more by the bone conduction headset gear there. This is basically the awareness perk. It's going to make it easier to hear those footsteps. They'll stand out a bit more. Sometimes this works at an inverse and makes your teammates footsteps a little bit louder. I don't notice it happening constantly, but here and there it will be an issue. But for the most part, again, if you're looking at the minimap, that can also make sure you know that oh those footsteps behind me not in enemies i don't have to worry but you'll get a really good feel for okay there might be one or two enemies pushing through this hallway next to me or they're going to be coming around this corner and you can hear that audio get louder and louder and louder as they're getting closer this is a clutch gear for sure and will really help you uh get that sort of edge up or advantage on your enemies in those gunfights if you're looking to you know simply earn some more things in game in terms of streaks another key tip here change to score streaks unless you are like specifically a tdm player who does not care about any objective modes score streaks are pun intended objectively better uh if you're throwing flashes and getting assists that's going to help you build your streak if you're getting kills that'll build your streak if you're capturing a flag or defusing a bomb or whatever the case may be this will help you build your streak score streaks just make it so much easier to get those uavs which are vitally important to get those uh lethals to get that map control whatever the case may be toggling your streaks to score streaks is absolutely something you should do right as you are jumping into gameplay now there's also a few different settings i want to go over because these are all things that'll help improve your gameplay as well and make you a bit of a better player just because it's going to allow you to do things more efficiently first off here turn off those key settings that are going to ruin your visibility so we're talking motion blur turn this off for the world and for the weapon turn off depth of field so that you don't have a blurry background when you're running through the map turn off film grain so you're not having a grainy uh screen blocking player visibility and maybe some of those dark lit areas or where there's a lot of bushes or whatever the case may be uh this is just going to help you see players easier and obviously if you can see players you can take them out and if there's something that's going to limit your visibility that's going to hinder your experience drastically so be sure to turn all of those off hey everyone if you're like me right now and you are grinding out modern warfare fair three leveling up all the new weapons going for the new mastery camos or you just happen to be looking at screens for long periods of time whether it be for work school or just casually gaming do yourself a favor and pick up a pair of gamer advantage glasses you all obviously see me wearing these every single face cam video they are truly the most essential part of my day-to-day -day setup and if you want to get a pair for yourself they offer prescription and regular lenses plenty of different frame options and colorways and code immortal will get you a nice little discount at checkout link for that will be down in the description below uh should have been mentioned this when we were talking about the mini map but please 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 use a square mini map this is going to give you more information outright it expands the mini map view as opposed to a circle mini map so you can see more of the overhead view of the map so those red dots that are across the map you could see with a square mini map that you wouldn't be able to see with circle please change that setting Another thing that I've been running in the past couple of uh, years is the center dot. This is a super convenient setting now where basically it's just going to help with your overall centering in gunfights. There are certain situations where maybe you don't have your crosshair if you're, you know, doing certain sprint mechanics, why wang using nades, whatever the case may be. But having that center dot turned on means that you're always going to know exactly where that center crosshair is going to return once you have that up and ready. So when you're going into gunfights, this will help you stay on target a bit more. It's never going to disappear and I have found that my engagements have been much more fluid and seamless because of this my accuracy has gone up immensely using this because it's going to help with that centering which is so clutch in a game like this where hitting that first bullet definitely counts 
Another thing that you can absolutely abuse, not so much with settings to an extent, but a little bit, is uh, rotational aim assist. Typically, using the Black Ops aim assist type is going to allow you to have the most rotational aim assist. And for those unfamiliar, it's basically the aim assist you get on controller whenever you are using your left thumbstick. So if you are moving forwards, backwards, left, right, if you are at all moving, you're going to have more of that aim assist drag and slowdown that's going to be busted in certain cases. It's absolutely something that makes controller gameplay way overpowered and if they're not going to fix it it's something that 110 percent can be abused and make for some very easy gunfights in certain situations it doesn't work constantly but when it does work boy is it noticeable and then lastly here obviously we're playing on the mw2 2009 maps and if you played them back in the day they all seem very familiar but with a lot of them there are new routes there's new angles new jump spots and different things you can explore that'll give you an edge on your opponents because they weren't there in the original maps whether it's because of the new uh mantling mechanics or different things like that just the overall speed in which the game is played you're able to get into certain spots a little bit quicker get into areas that you weren't able to get into before whether it be because of a jump spot or a flank route uh it's really convenient to have those in your arsenal and in your memory so you can say okay if this guy is in this window previously you know back in 2009 it was blocked off he had the power position but now i can mantle up in there and get that quick and easy kill so be on the lookout for those different spots and angles when you are playing there's not necessarily one on every map or there might be multiple on some maps it just depends but there are some really good ways to integrate some new things into your gameplay on the old maps Overall, though, you know, you focus on all of these things, you know, integrating these either instantly with some of the settings or slowly over, over time with some of the movement, you can really see some significant differences in your gameplay. If you're dropping more kills, if you're, you know, increasing your KD, you're always at the top of the leaderboard. These things will happen a lot more naturally as you start to focus on these things more and more. So hopefully this helped you out. If it did or you simply enjoyed the video, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you're new here, you want to guarantee you're up to date every single day with all things going on in COD, be sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you later. Peace out.